Today, the recent temperature swings, along with drenching rain, created the perfect recipe for Mother Nature to unearth something that was supposed to stay buried. A massive drainage pipe pushing its way to the surface, shifting the earth around it and leaving nearby residents stumped. TV5's Jamie Sherrod got a closer look at the culvert conundrum. Bit of a mystery, yeah. Yeah. That's what you can expect to find on Dutch Road in Thomas Township, a mystery. It looked like an earthquake. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. This is what Dan Owen and his wife woke up to on Friday morning, a drain ejected from the ground overnight. They recorded this video in disbelief. Looked normal the day before. What was once normal is now a mystery, leaving residents to only assume what could have happened. What may have happened is somehow water's getting underneath the tube and washing away its base and its footing or whatever. This sink, that's going to lift that up. And I think that's probably the most reasonable theory, but again, it's just a guess. Although the area has improved with most of the water drying up, they're hoping this doesn't cause any further issues for their home or the road. My first concern Friday morning was is that it would that maybe there was some erosion under the road and we would end up with a sinkhole. Now residents aren't sure why or how the drain was raised, but they're hoping the drain commission can do something to fix it. Did reach out to the drain commission and they gave us this statement saying the area of concern is part of the Gary drain. At this point, we are studying to ascertain the exact cause. Although not certain, there appears to be two contributing factors. The first being flowing water somehow got outside or around the pipe enclosure and traveled alongside of it, creating an air void and area for the pipe to move. The second being a higher than normal water table that has been increasing over the last several years. The two combined likely created a hydraulic pressure around and below the pipe enclosure, pushing it upwards similar to frost movement in the winter months. Repair options are currently being considered. No matter the cause, Dan Owens wants one outcome, two if they're generous. Getting it fixed. If they want to mow my lawn, that'd be great. Reporting in Saginaw County, Jamie Sherrod, WNEM TV5. And if you have a problem like that one in your neighborhood, give us a call at the number on your screen or send us an email to the newsroom.